everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Faye and if you are not new here thank you so much for coming back for another video so before we jump in I want to start off by wishing you guys a very happy new year I know that we're already halfway through January but this is my first time actually talking to you guys here on my YouTube channel if you don't follow me you know on my other social media which you should but if not this is my first video of 2020 so definitely have to start off by wishing you guys a very happy new year I hope that it's off to a very great start mine has been off to a little bit of a slower start as you guys know I kind of had a lot of changes happening last year we bought a house which was like a major thing I turned 30 which was like another major thing <laughs> and then um, during the holidays we traveled a lot we went to New York for New Year's and then when we came back my husband actually got sick with the flu for a week so it has been a whirlwind pretty much since August of last year and I have been trying to gather my bearings so if you are feeling like your new year or like your past couple of months have just been all over the place and you're trying to get your life together girl I feel you but every day is a new day every week is a new week every month is a new month so if you need to gather and start your year in February girl just do what you gotta do um, but we're just getting started so don't beat yourself up too much don't stress yourself out too much that's one thing that I'm trying to do better with in 2020 because I'm someone that likes to make a lot of plans and then when things don't go exactly as planned I just feel like oh my gosh everything's terrible my life is over I just want to give up and just start over tomorrow but I'm trying to do better with that and not allow like one thing that may have gone wrong or may have altered my plans to completely ruin my whole day or just make me think that all is lost and I can't move forward and life is over which is so dramatic but it's the truth so I am here with a new video for you guys Finally, I was having a moment where I was having the hardest time getting motivated, but now that I'm actually sitting here and filming, I'm feeling like I'm right back in my groove. I'm feeling it. I'm excited. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the content that I have coming for you guys. So yeah, as you guys can see by the title, today's video is going to be all about my absolute favorite foundations. If you are new to my channel, I am an oily skin girl. So if you are oily, hey girl, how you doing? I understand your struggle we're in the same boat if you are not oily um, a lot of these foundations or products that I'm gonna mention to you guys um, can still be used whether you're oily or not but they are products that I have found personally have worked really really well for my super oily skin and foundations concealers and setting powders that's what I have for you guys I have 10 products to share with you and hopefully they're helpful get your pen and paper or your phone or whatever you take notes on out and hopefully you will find some new products to try out that will hopefully become some of your favorites as well so if you enjoyed this video definitely be sure to give it a big thumbs up or if you just want to support your girl just go ahead and scroll up and give it a thumbs up right quick and if you are new to my channel and have not already definitely be sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications join the fam and let's go ahead and get into the video so before we jump into the top 10 I want to quickly give an honorable mention to two foundations that I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on because I've talked so much about them in 2019 and they didn't come out in 2019 but I did want to mention them because I use them so much. I still use them so much. I'm so obsessed with them and I, I just could not leave them out of this video. And they are the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Foundation and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Two drugstore products. In the LA Girl one, I have the shade Cafe. In the Makeup Revolution, I have the shade 12.5. These are really bomb drugstore foundations they apply to the skin like butter they leave you looking flawless and they wear really really nicely on me throughout the day I don't find that I get super oily whenever I wear these foundations and I just wanted to quickly mention them as a drugstore option for those of you guys that want drugstore options and just because like I said, these have been my holy grails. I have talked about them so, 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 so much on my channel. I've done dedicated reviews of these foundations on my channel, which I will try to find and link for you if you want more information. But I could not post a favorites foundation video 
without mentioning these, even though I've mentioned them before. Just in case you're new to my channel, girl, these are bomb. Just trust me, they're bomb. So I'm now moving into the actual top 10 products that I have to share with you guys. I'm going to start off with foundations. Actually, let's start off with concealers because I only have two to mention. Then we'll go into foundations and then powders. So the very first concealer that I have to share with you guys is honestly, if I had to choose one concealer to use for the rest of my life, it would be this one. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have talked about this so many times on my channel this is another one that when it first came out i did a full dedicated review on this concealer it's such a versatile concealer you can literally use it all over your entire face you can use it as foundation you can use it to spot conceal you can use it to highlight you can use it to contour just as the name says this is literally a multi-use concealer and this is honestly one of the few concealers that i have tried that when I wear it as a foundation on my face, it doesn't um, like look weird or break up or just like do weird things. And I am still able to maintain a pretty, um, you know, flawless base all throughout the day and not get super, you know, oily. It doesn't break up on, on my skin. It's just a really nice concealer. Very full coverage, very, very, very full coverage but it's not heavy, it's not drying, it just looks flawless on the skin. So even though this did not come out in 2019, I will always mention this, similar to those first two foundations that I mentioned, because even though I have literally two drawers full of concealers, I cannot stop myself from going back to these. They're just that good. Next up, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This did launch in 2019 and honestly, has become probably my favorite concealer. I'm trying to like think in my head. Probably my favorite concealer from the drugstore, just thinking off the top of my head. I think this takes the cake. The thing that I really love about this concealer that I notice whenever I wear it is that it really blurs, like it just looks flawless. Honestly, I would compare this to like high-end formula, high-end quality, concealer whenever I apply this underneath my eyes when I blend it out this area right here I have you can probably even see on this HD quality that I kind of have um, like larger pores in this area and whenever I use this concealer it just blurs like literally wherever I place it it just blurs that area it blurs out any fine lines it looks beautiful on the skin it does not crease that's one thing that really stood out to me the first time that I used it when I applied it under my eyes even before I went in to set with powder it did not crease underneath my eyes and it's just an absolutely beautiful concealer a little bit on the higher end of price for the drugstore but I think it's worth it it I mean honestly in my opinion like I said I think it's like a high-end quality or high-end um, like comparable to a high-end version of a concealer so highly recommend and also um, I have this in the shade amber 385 and then in the Born This Way, for my skin tone shade, I use Butterscotch. And for my highlight shade, I use Sand. And if I want to really highlight, I'll use the shade Warm Beige. And I will have all of these products linked for you down below in case you want to check them out. But just wanted to mention that really quickly. Okay, so we're moving into foundations. <laughs> I just realized just that quick I talked about those two. And that's all I have for concealers. So we're moving into foundations now. The first one that I have to share with you guys is from Juvia's Place. This is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte foundation I have mine in the shade Punta Cuna no Punta Cana and I did uh, this is another one that I filmed a full review wear test um, on for you guys I really like to use this foundation with the milk makeup hydro grip primer whenever I use this foundation with that primer my makeup literally lasts all day long I will still get a little bit oily about like halfway through my day but I'll just go in with a tissue and blot and my face, like my makeup does not move. It does not break up. It literally looks as if I just applied it and I can get a strong eight to 10 hours wear out of this foundation when I wear it with that particular primer. So this is definitely one that I always reach for if I need something long wearing or, you know, something, you know, full coverage that I can wear for a long period of time because this right here is full coverage. 
but it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey it blends out on the skin beautifully so another drugstore option that i would highly recommend and then the next one that is kind of similar to that one but not quite as thick and full coverage well i don't want to say thick because like i said it's not heavy or cakey but it is like it's full coverage girl um, this one is the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. This one is also full coverage, but it's not quite as, like, I feel like the Juvia's Place, that one's like spackle, girl. Like, that one's giving you full coverage, flawless, glam, snatched, all of the above. This one is more, it's full coverage, but you could sheer it out a little bit if you want it to. Like, if you want it like a more medium to buildable full coverage um, look from this, you could get that. Um, the other thing with this one, if you are someone that is combination or um, not like super, super oily, you like a matte look but you don't wanna look dry, this would be a good foundation for you. Now if you have dry skin, I have um, heard a couple of people, like when this first came out and people were reviewing it, say that it was a little too matte for them. But for me personally, I find that with this foundation, when I apply it, initially my face looks flawless, like absolutely smooth, beautiful coverage. And then as I wear it throughout the day, I do find that I tend to get a little teensy bit more oily, not more oily, but my oils tend to come through a little bit sooner with this one than it does with some of my other more matte um, foundations that are specifically targeted for people that have oily skin. So this one I think isn't, to, in my opinion, it's not like a super dry, suck all the hydration out of your face matte foundation. Um, so if, you, like I said, if you're combo or if you're looking for something that is gonna be matte but it's not gonna be like too, too matte, I would recommend this one. Like I said, the finish is flawless and it's another drugstore option. All right, so the rest of the foundations that I have to share with you guys are high-end foundations. And the first one that I have is, of course, Fenty Beauty. I could not do a foundations favorites, wait, what? <laughs> I could not do a favorite foundations video from 2019 without mentioning your girl Rihanna and Fenty Beauty. She literally just came and just, snatched up the whole makeup game and was like i'm here move over this is my world now and y'all can fall in line pretty much um i have the shade 345 and this is the soft matte long wear foundation um since this came out she has also now launched a hydrating foundation so if you do have dry skin or if you do prefer more of a hydrating um, foundation you do now have that option or if you prefer more of a matte foundation, you can get this one. This one is another one similar to the Morphe one that's not gonna be like a super drying matte formula. It's more of like a satin matte kind of formula, but it does wear really nicely on the skin throughout the day. It's kind of like a medium to buildable coverage. And I really like this one for like if you want full coverage but you want your skin to still look like skin like if you're not trying to go like too like if you're not trying to go full out juvia's place but you still want full coverage you but you want your skin to be able to breathe and just look flawless this is one that i would reach for really love this one then the next two are actually foundations that i've had in my collection for a hot minute and when i tried them initially i didn't really love them and then I ended up coming back to them after watching one of Jackie Ina's videos where she said that she mixed the two of them together. And now I'm obsessed with them. I cannot put them down. I just love. And those foundations are the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and the Sheer Glow Foundation. I have both of these in the shade Tahoe. And I don't know why I never thought to mix these. But I don't remember what video it was I was watching of Jackie's, but when she suggested mixing the two of these together, I tried it, and girl. Now, even though these are the same shade, you can see that they don't look like the same shade at all. Like, this one is clearly like a more neutral, almost kind of lighter shade, and then this one is more of like a warmer, um, under 
undertone kind of and it looks a lot darker in comparison but I do have them on my face right now and you can see like the match is perfection when they're mixed together and I don't know what it is but the two of these I, I couldn't really get with them separate but when I mix them together girl if they created a foundation that was basically these two formulas mixed together they would have me sold I absolutely love the two of these on the skin. They wear really nicely on me. I find that I don't get super oily whenever I wear the two of these. Of course, when I set with powder, use primers, all of that kind of stuff, which I do also have a um, primers and setting sprays must have video coming for you guys. It probably will be up very shortly after this one. So stay tuned for that. If you need, you know, some suggestions or whatever, if you have oily skin and you want some suggestions on primers and setting sprays to help prolong the wear of your makeup. But of course, whenever I do all of my steps, and y'all know if you have oily skin, you already know how it is. Um, whenever I do all of that, this wears beautifully on me. So love these. Definitely hard to mention them because I didn't share them a whole lot on my channel like in makeup tutorials and stuff like that in 2019 but I was using those especially like the second half of the year I was using those like crazy and then also the Estee Lauder double wear so I picked these pumps up because I know you guys may ask I picked these pumps up off of Amazon they were super inexpensive and they actually came in a two pack um, I don't remember exactly how much they were but I was able to get you know two of them together and they were very inexpensive i have had the estee lauder double wear foundation in the shade 5w1 bronze forever but i kind of stopped wearing it because well i had one bottle that i completely finished and then i had a backup and i didn't open it immediately because i kind of felt like 5w1 bronze was a little bit too warm for me so i ended up picking up 4w2 toasty toffee which is a little bit more of like a neutral shade. And the two of these mixed together are a match made in heaven for my complexion. Um, Cause I kind of, my complexion is kind of weird. It's like neutral, but it's also kind of warm. I don't know. Like I can't just do a straight neutral foundation necessarily because it'll look too washed out. But then if I do just a straight warm foundation, sometimes it'll look too orange. So in this case, I do have to mix. And like I said, I have toasty toffee and uh, bronze. And the two of them mixed together are beautiful. I normally just do like one pump of each and I just do an even mixture all over my face and blend it all out and love this foundation. If you have oily skin and you have not tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear, girl, let me just tell you, your next foundation purchase needs to be this foundation. This is such, and I think um, Essay Lauder also has like hydrating versions and like other versions for different um, skin types. But if you want a foundation that will literally not go anywhere all day long, that will last you probably the longest any foundation ha has ever lasted you on your face, and you have oily skin, this is the foundation that you need. I don't wear this one all the time, but if I want a foundation, like for instance, if I was going to a wedding outside in the summer, that's what I would wear. If I was going to be out all night, you know, maybe going out, you know, nightlife all night, that's what I would wear. If I was going to be, you know, maybe going to a nightclub or something or somewhere where I might be sweating or it might be hot, that's what I would wear because that foundation is not going anywhere so if you haven't tried it out and you have oily skin or you just want something that's going to stay in place i would highly recommend that one okay so last but not least i have four setting powders that i want to share with you guys that have been basically my go-to setting powders for all of 2019 i have tried out other setting powders but these are the ones like if i know like i said before that i'm going to be out all day or i want something i can count on these are the ones that I reach for. So first up, I have two powder foundations. The first one that I have is the CoverGirl Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation. Out of the two that I'm about to share with you, this is the one that honestly just takes the cake for 2019. I'm pretty sure this came out towards the beginning of last year and I have not been able to put it down since. I have gone through an entire, um, 
an entire package of one already and this is actually a new one that I just purchased this week because Target had them on sale for five dollars and I literally bought the whole shelf of my shade which there were only three left but I bought all three because I know they will get used because I literally could not put this down last year it is so good I have mine in the shade medium tan neutral and it just sets my foundation beautifully I do have it on my face today it just sets any foundation that I have it sets it so nicely and it just matches my complexion perfectly so if you are similar to my skin tone this would be the perfect shade for you um, but this particular line was created with or for women of color or with women of color multicultural women in mind so there are lots of different um, like the shade range is pretty good like it's, it's pretty good <laughs> so if you are somebody that has a hard time finding a press foundation powder and you are a woman of color I would recommend checking this one out like I said I got mine from Target and mine is in the shade medium tan neutral so good but I also really like this one from Too Faced. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use complexion powder in the shade Butterscotch. And it looks like this. This one was actually a newer favorite. I started using this when I ran out of this one before I went and purchased another one. And I ended up really liking this one. I got my hands on this when I went to a Too Faced event um, when they came here to Atlanta. I had never tried this out, so I was excited that I was able to get my hands on it and try it out. And the shade that they matched me to, like I said, was Butterscotch. And I do really like this foundation. It's not too heavy. It's not too, um, like it's buildable coverage. So you could do a light layer. You could build it up to a super full coverage layer. I like to use it to set my foundation. And again, it matches my complexion really nicely. It sets pretty much any foundation that I wear beautifully and yeah these are my two go-to's and that's that on that period and then lastly I have loose setting powders and the first one that I have is from Huda Beauty this is the easy bake loose baking and setting powder in the shade blondie now I was actually introduced to this powder well I was introduced to it when it launched because I saw it on trend mood but I didn't purchase it right away but then I ended up actually purchasing it after going to uni rose's dinner which by the way if you are not following uni rose she is another beauty creator here on YouTube you should definitely check her out if you are not already following her but she had a birthday dinner here in Atlanta and she had a portion of the dinner where people were able to um, just share about her and while her husband was sharing about her she got a little emotional which is completely understandable but she started you know crying a little bit while he was sharing and let me tell you her makeup did not budge I'm talking like full-on tears running down her face and her under eyes stayed perfect and like everybody in the room was like girl I don't know what you did but your makeup is flawless it's not budging like what <laughs> and she ended up saying that she used this setting powder so I have since watched many of her videos to see how she sets her under eye because I was like shook at the fact that she was like full-on having an emotional moment and her under eye was flawless like girl so I went ahead and purchased this after that whole situation and I have been equally in love with it ever since. I did use it today to set my um, areas where I use concealer along with another powder that I'm about to show you in a second. But this is the truth. And then last but not least, I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have mine in the shade Banana and I actually have a love-hate relationship with this. I tried it out when it originally launched and in my review of that video I actually told you guys that I or in my review of the product in that video I told you guys that I did not really like it because I felt like when I would apply it to like set my concealer it would pretty much just stay wherever I placed it I couldn't blend it out I just wasn't really a fan of it well I have since gone back to it and tried it out again and I realized the thing with this is a little bit of it goes a long way. So 
You don't wanna go in with a whole lot of product at one time because then it is gonna look cakey. It's not gonna blend out um, nicely. You're just gonna have a much harder time with it. So I tried it out a couple of different ways and I found personally that it applies best for me with a damp beauty sponge. And I just like get a thin layer of product and I just go in and you know apply it wherever it is that I want to brighten and then I'll just go in and build it up. So if I wanna add more, I'll go in gradually and build it up as opposed to going in with a whole lot of product all at once. And ever since I started doing that, I have now fallen in love with this powder. It does a really great job of brightening this particular shade. It does a really great job of brightening the under eye and I'll use it a lot along with this one. I'll use this to set and then I'll go in with this one to just brighten up the under eye if I feel like it needs a little something extra. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much all that I have to say about all of these products. This is a much longer video than I initially planned, but I definitely wanted to like have a moment with you guys in the beginning, wish you guys a happy 2020, get a little bit caught up on where I've been and all of that, and just kind of have a little chatty video sharing with you guys some of my favorites from 2019. You guys know I'm all about the base. I'm all about like face products are my favorite. I have literally two drawers full of foundations. It's out of control. Way more product than any one person could ever use, but base, foundations, primers, like all things face are my favorite. So definitely wanted to kick off the new year just sharing with you guys some of the products that I have been obsessed with, that have been my holy grails, and hopefully you guys have found some that you could test out and try out and will end up loving as well. If you guys have any favorites that I did not mention, feel free to leave those down below in the comments. I, of course, would love to hear what your favorites are and just get some ideas of things that I could try out in the future. And yeah, that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video for watching the entire video. I really appreciate you. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications and I will see you very soon in my next video.